Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, I'm going to review Holochain project. This was suggested to me in comments of previous videos. So if you want to have a coin review or any topic review, please comment on the video. And we are going to do some technical analysis of Holo. I will explain what Holochain is and how it works and make some reviews of project and news related. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get the notifications. I saw that most of you continue watching my videos but are not subscribed. So please, if it's your first time or you are continue watching the video, subscribe to the channel and help me grow it. And also show me in Twitter at CryptoCState. Without anything else, let's go into it. Hey guys, while well, Holo is ranked right now in the position 70 on CoinMarketCap, but mainly has been consolidating for a year. Um, but right now we are inside the, the top 100 coins. If we see the chart, we are seeing Holo token against USDT on Binance. We are seeing candles of one day. And um, we can see how we have been in this accumulation consolidation phase since August 2019. So more than one year, the token has not been doing much, only consolidating on these parameters, on this green rectangle. Uh, but since last of January, beginning of February, Holo just exploded and did almost, almost 10x in price to the peak of almost one cent from 0 0.0007. So this has been a big explosion. Um, we see how we broke the, the last peak uh, of 2019. And now we are working on these parameters of price. I probably would say that uh, we have uh, not been consolidating again, so probably we could go down into the golden pocket, maybe into the 0.5 Fibonacci, or that will be a, a better place to start consolidating again, instead of going down on this peak, maybe outside of this uh, last peak that we have in 20th of February. But what I like of Holo right now is the chart of Holo against Bitcoin. If we put uh, candles of one day also, we can see this perfect structure. Holo from the beginning against Bitcoin have been creating lower highs and lower lows. We have the first high here, November 2019. Then we have a, a lower, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower high here. Uh, and then we have been recovered, passing from this uh, accumulation phase. And then we broke this structure, this is sending, the sending triangle, we could say. And once we broke this, we have been outperforming Bitcoin a terrible peak. If you measure this from this point of consolidation until the peak that we have, you had a 1000% against Bitcoin. And that's why Holo is now ranking 70 on the coin market cap. This has been phenomenal. And I still think that we need to consolidate again on the golden pocket Fibonacci. We still can see some retracement on, on the price against Bitcoin. And if we consolidate it a little more here, I think we can create a new um, solid and natural new structure. Because if not, this parabolic upside can, can go down at the same way. But this trend line has been working perfectly. We can even go back all the way to test this one more time. But I think right now that the 0.5 aligns perfectly with this peak and the 0.382 aligns perfectly with this another peak. So I will be waiting some retracement into these levels and then another new consolidation. And maybe we can still outperform Bitcoin for, for the short term. But what is Holochain? The first thing that you need to understand is that Holochain is not a blockchain. 
it's not a blockchain solution or a blockchain platform that could be Ethereum, Cardano, or Polkadot, for example. Holochain is a framework for distributed apps. It's not a blockchain means that in a blockchain um, you have each block of the chain collectively attached and is validated for any any of the nodes. So any node will have the same register of the blockchain tra transactions. So anytime that a new blockchain, a new chain is added to the blockchain, it will be updated in all the, the nodes, even for with any protocol like a proof of work or any other work that the nodes need to do in order to update the, the register that they are having from the blockchain. Um, Holochain doesn't afford this uh, consensus, so it doesn't work on the same way. Instead, Holochain uses this concept of agent-centric. So the nodes are called agents here, and each agent will have a proper a, a personal register of all the, the chains and all the transactions, and they will be communicating with the other agents. Each agent it will be signed it, so it will be uh, that will ensure some security. And Holochain also implements a DHT, which is distributed uh, hash tables. This is uh, not a new system that Holochain created already exists and is used, for example, in in BitTorrent. Um, and with this, we we can see that if one of the nodes one of the agents get go offline, we will have public copies of the chain distributed with another agent that can validate and maintain this even if the agent is uh, offline. And Holochain also adds distributed validation. This will be the DNA uh, on, on, on each agent uh, chain and that will add some validation rules for that particular one. So if, for example, a uh, whole chain also goes piece from an immune system, that means if, for example, we have one Asian malicious agent that wants to add his chain into a public uh, register, the DNA it will not match the validation rules from the others, and that will imp impede that this uh, that this get into the into the DHT. Reviewing the team of Holochain, it was a little confusing, even if I know this project from two years ago. When we go to holochain.org, um, I don't see anyone here that says founder or co-founder. Um, then when I started to dig in, I could realize the, the structure of the company, but we need to differentiate Holochain from Holo. And for example, Arthur Brock is one of the, of the co-founders, but here in the website is chief architect. So I was wondering why uh, he will not put, or why is not put here that he's, he's the co-founder. And also the other co-founder is Eric Harris Brown, who looks here as an executive engineer. Um, in the first place, we have David Meister, which is a developer. If, if we go to his LinkedIn, we will see the incongruence of this. Eric Harris um, is put here in his LinkedIn and he is a co-founder at Holo.host. If we see Arthur Brock, we see has, he has worked with distributed app architects, cryptocurrency designers. We don't see Holo here or Holochain, we need to go a little down here and we see here that he mentioned that is the co-founder and architect of Holochain. Also, he mentioned here on his experience, it's first the fellow global impact entrepreneur. So I was wondering, and for example, here doesn't say that continue working here, which is a little strange. Uh, this is only my perception when I look into the the team, right? It's not that I'm criticizing that, but it's a little messy. I would prefer to have uh, clear information about the team, and I didn't find that 
when I went into the Holo project. Besides the Holo token or Hot token, which is an RC20 uh, token, I mean uh, a token that is created on the blockchain of Ethereum, we also have, have the Holo fuel, and the Holo fuel is planned native cryptocurrency of Holochain, which will be a mutual credit currency and will be backed by actual assets. The Holochain team calls it a contractual service obligation because it can be earned and redeemed for hosting on the Holochain platform. Its primary use is for Holochain application, HApp, providers to pay Holohost for their services. Um, the three primary reasons why the Holo Chain team believes Holofuel is different from another cryptocurrencies. First, the Holofuel is not a tokens created from nothing. It is a double entry crypto accounting framework that provides scalability, transparency, and accountability. It's, it's, a, it's an asset back. So Holofuel is backed by the computing power of hosts across the globe. And its value is stable. The value of Holofuel is con connected to the computing capacity of the network of hosts. This capacity involves and changes slowly and isn't subject to huge spike and crashes the way another speculative tokens are. What's happening with Holochain from the last time? Well, focus on DeFi fairness benefits Holochain, Oregon Protocol and Dudu. This is from three weeks ago but basically building real world solutions that address scalability, data privacy and high Ethereum fees are adding value to Holochain, Orion Protocol and Dudu. So basically because of the difficulties with the Ethereum blockchain, mainly the scalability and the fees, and because of Cardano doesn't have smart contracts yet, uh, Polkadot is still in, in early phases, um, these other technologies high, like Holochain could take part of the market of the DeFi ecosystem. Holochain is a very good uh, platform framework to create decentralized applications and a DeFi is a decentralized application. So Holochain is taking part of that market. If we see in this new from last year, uh, the social media problems and solutions, centralization is not sustainable. And we have a mention here from the startup of the Shunto Foundation oversees the social media platform. Shunto is not based on blockchain, however, but steadily achieved decentralization through a distributed ledger solution called Holochain. And this is from November 2020, and a few days ago, we have this tweet from Shunto Foundation that we have started building the first Holochain powered version of Shunto. The MVP uh, will include private communications with the encrypted decentralized group messaging, and you will also be able to organize your conversation via channels, sign and meets, Slack, but decentralized, decentralized and more uh, agency. So basically, we can have decentralized uh, social media on Holochain, which is great. And we don't have that kind of project uh, with real developments on blockchain. So why not in Holochain? So if you are wondering why, use Holo, why you will use Holochain, basically is to create a new internet. You can create anything uh, using Holo, Holochain. If we talk a little bit about the, the HOLO currency requirements, I am in the, in the white paper of HOLO. I read it all, it's, it's quite interesting. But HOLO is it intended uh, to be scalable, secure, and stable uh, uh, enough to be the foundation for a new crypto economic. To accomplish this, HOLO must provide high speed crypto accounting, massive transaction volumes with high enough F efficiency to minimize overhead and the cryptocurrency which is stable enough for normal people to rely on for their livelihoods. It must also be structured with proper incentives for participation and provide adequate resources for maintenance of its infrastructure. What partnerships we can mention uh, with Holochain? Well, we have a next block group uh, was announced uh, as a new par partnership the group holding 
The company aimed to advise established uh, enterprise to help them to build a centralized application. It was also mentioned that Mozilla, it could be one partner, uh, partnership with Holochain team to confirm uh, having discussion and a meetup on the path and Prometeer, it's another of the uh, Holochain partners. And the official Holochain apps that uh, are already launched since the beginning, the community showed a large interest in building the centralized application. And here you can find a list of uh, some of those applications. For example, Red Grid, which is building the Internet of Energy aimed to optimize energy assets, enable revenue integration and create a smart transaction grid. We have Morpheus, like we mentioned, we have Han, Scred Capital is building a reputation. Interchange aim to serve as economic backbone for the distributed world. We mentioned already Junto, and we have a couple of more decentralized application here. And you can find in the current map the of the centralized application ideas to develop on the official map of uh, Holo hackers. So, what are my thoughts about uh, Holo and Holo chain? Well, I think the technology is amazing. I think they have a great future. I think there are not too many things already developed on the Holochain ecosystem. I personally didn't invest in, in Holo, but I think it will continue developing and it will continue taking a part of the centralized finance ecosystem and decentralized applications um, because I don't say that it's better than blockchain technology because we have a lot of projects like Avalanche or Solana that can manage uh, 50,000 transactions per second. So I will say that the scalability in the future with blockchain it will not be a problem for all cases. But if it's even besides that, I see a great future for, for Holochain. And they have been continue growing from the last two years and they continue developing applications and work in progress on them. Uh, I will expect to have some other partnerships or some other big companies interested in building decentralized applications with Holochain and that will maybe get more interest over them. But anyways, it's not discutable that they are in the top 100 of CoinMicroCap. So we continue to see growth on, on Holochain in the future. That is for all for today. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to get the notifications. And if you didn't saw these videos, please saw them. They are great content and I see you in the next video.